Simple Health notified me that my health insurance was no longer going to cover for my pill subscription and I asked them how much it would be to pay out of pocket and they said 60 which is $10 more than what the pill club was charging me way back when I started with the pill Everybody, welcome to my channel. It's another day of Vlogmas where I upload every weekday for the month of December. Today we're talking about the Pill Club once again. Yes, I am back to using the Pill Club. If you missed my previous video where I provide some screenshots, I had a miscommunication issue with the Pill Club and I ended up switching over to Simple Health, which is another pill subscription service. So we're gonna break it down, why I'm back with the Pill Club, how much was the cost, and then side effects and stuff like that from using the pill. It's been more than a year. And some things are starting to annoy me, but we're gonna get into it. So Simple Health notified me that my health insurance was no longer going to cover for my pill subscription and I asked them how much it would be to pay out of pocket and they said 60 which is $10 more than what the pill club was charging me way back when I started with the pill club so I was like I might as well go back to the pill club and get like the cute stickers and the cute stuff that comes with it I know that's very frivolous but but a $10 difference is a $10 difference so I went back to the pill club they were very quick to respond this time and I asked them how much it would cost they gave me a cheaper price than last year so last year was 50 this year was $36 so I was like perfect we'll do that it was a three-month supply and here's the birth control that I've been taking when I was with simple health I took a a generic version of it I didn't notice any differences but we'll get to that again it arrived in a bubble mailer and then I got my packs of birth control the pill club always comes with some type of goodie and some stickers so this is a beauty bite source it is vitamin infused chocolate so it's supposed to have biotin for hair and nails and this is dark chocolate so it's six candy coated pieces and it's 20 calories per serving I just, it's such a small little thing, but I feel like this stuff cheers me up. You know, it's cute to have a package with something that's a necessity, but also some fun goodies. It also arrived with two really cute stickers. The first one features a polar bear in a snow globe, and it says, it's cool to be kind, which I definitely agree with. And these stickers are nice. I don't know, like they feel like little decals. And then the last sticker is a sea turtle, and it says, let it flow. And it is super duper cute. So like I said, these little things are just fun. It's just a fun thing to look forward to when you're getting such a boring package. All right, so we talked about price. We talked about why. So switched over from Simple Health to the Pill Club. Now let's talk about the actual pill itself. It has been, the first year of taking it was very uneventful. I was very, I mean, I did forget sometimes, but I was pretty good at taking it. But that was because I took it at 8 p.m. every day and it was never really conflicting with any activities that I would have to take. Maybe like Beetlejuice. I saw Beetlejuice on Broadway in 2019 before the lockdown, before, not 2019, 2020, before everything kind of, went a little crazy in the world and it hasn't been the same since and my alarm for 8 p.m. did ring during the show so that was embarrassing because I put my phone on silent but alarms I guess bypassed that. For the most part it was really easy for me to take the pill it was the best option for me. Now I'm on a different sleep schedule I have a different work schedule now so I wake up super super early in the morning I'm talking like 4 a.m. in order to get ready so finding the right sweet spot the right time for me has been very difficult I have been forgetting a little bit more frequently and if you don't know anything about me with chances are you don't if you're stumbling across this video I do have a couple videos about being child free by choice I do not want children in this lifetime it's just not something I've ever wanted it's not for me I'm gonna be 30 soon I'm getting married in a month and having kids is just not on the table for my fiance and I so that's why I do get really nervous when I mess up with these pills I think it's only I think it's very like I don't want to even I don't want to make excuses for myself, but at the same time, it happens, things happen, we live really, really busy lives, and I'm trying to stay on top of it, obviously, because of the consequences that could arise if I don't take it with discipline. But it has been kind of an issue lately, but I'm kind of trying to power through, find the right sweet spot for taking it. Um, I have thought about other options for birth control. I have a lot of friends that have implants or like the one in your arm. Thought about it, but I just, I hate the doctors so much. Not that I hate them, I just hate going. I, I kind of have a fear still. I have mostly a fear for the dentist, but it's just not something I want to get into. And I'm just scared. Like I just hear a lot of bad things. And it's funny because I know a lot of people hear a lot of bad things about pills which I agree, I do too. Like, if you go on YouTube and you type in any of this stuff, you, you're gonna hear a bunch of like horror stories because every single person's experience is so vastly different. I've never had an issue with my 
mental well-being being on a pill is like i've never felt any fogginess i know people have experienced that mood swings or anything like that i haven't had any tremendous weight gain and if i have had weight gain because i fluctuate in weight so often it's really due to the fact that i don't i'm not always as physically active as i am it depends on my job like if i'm not working like 2020 i was not working for much of it um and i started to gain weight very rapidly and then i lost it and then i gained it i'm a mess that has nothing to do with the pill it's really just i've always been that way but, and in terms of acne i still get acne once a month but i've never been super super acne prone luckily but i still will get them once a month like in between my eyes or on my cheeks during that time of the month and that's pretty much it like i've never had any negative side effects it's just annoying to have to take it you know what i mean it's annoying to be like oh did i bring my pills or if i'm sleeping around my fiance's house are they in my bag like it's that type of thing where i'm just like annoyed about it like it's a bit of a hassle but it's something that i'm grateful for because like i said before i don't want kids those are the questions i tend to get on those videos that i have about the pill club and simple health is does it do this does it do that every single person is going to have a different experience for me it's never been super negative it's never been a scary thing it's never affected me in a negative way i don't even know if i want to get into this but i have tried um before i was ever on the pill i did try like tracking my cycle uh there's a word for it like family planning like like the natural way of doing it quote-unquote natural with there was a brand with a thermometer like a basal thermometer and that was hard that was stressful that was hard that was risky for me that takes a lot of discipline and a lot of people don't agree with it because they feel like you're just it, it, it's inevitable that you're just gonna get pregnant regardless but i have tried other options before switching to the pill it just was the one that seemed right for me and my desire to not have kids anyway if you made it to the end of this video and you found this video helpful then be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already let me know in the comment section down below what's your experience with the pill or whatever one you've chosen and yeah i think that's pretty much all i have to say i'm gonna start editing some videos and yeah i hope i see you later on this week so until next time bye